Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. So excited. It's gonna be your first trip with Papa, huh? Yeah. yeah. All alone, buddy. Me and you. You gonna talk my ear off? Huh? Maybe. You gonna talk to me? <laughs> nice. I do got us an audio book, so you have to compete with that a little bit. We're the lonely ones left. All right, Papa. One All more. right. Bye bye. You'll do good. Oh, you gonna give me a hug? You. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, you rascal. Ow. 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 Are you sad? No. No. <laughs> she says. See ya. Have fun. All right. Bye. You know what? What? Papa woke up early and did all the chores. <laughs> All the chores but the forested pigs. So we're gonna get the mower, get down, get the grain, and head out there now. The haulers are coming. Ben is going to come and milk Flossie for us. Kids too. And the kids are coming too, I've been informed. So we're going to, um, you getting a banana? We're going, they're gonna help me milk the cow. I just feel like that it might be a little too much for me to do with having the kids and stuff too, just because Gideon is used to having me. And if I had to milk the cow and he was needing me, that might be kind of stressful. So thank you, Ben and Megan for coming and helping me do that. I appreciate it. Are you getting, are you doing your girls? Yeah. Your chickens? Oh look. Bought this yesterday. So that it will be easier on me to do chores. It's affectionately called Hank at the hollers. All right, I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. Pig feed, two buckets at 10 pounds each. We made it out to the forest pigs with the help of Josiah and me on the zero turn. He kind of helped me. Here we go, feeding the forest pigs. We're gonna head back and I'm gonna hoe a little bit in the upper garden. I did that last night and I got one row done, the collards row. So I started on the lettuce row and it's gonna need to be done by here. We're not gonna get away with doing it with a hoe. We're gonna put it together, Hank, um, this afternoon or when it gets hot. And right now we're gonna go, are you gonna help me weed in the garden? Josiah's gonna help me weed in the garden. First, I have to rinse out this milk pan from yesterday. Speaking of yesterday, uh, Justin and I shot some footage of us doing the morning chores together. So I will put that in right here. Free the birds. It is Saturday, beautiful morning, beautiful cool morning. We have moved the chickens, the breakfast posse, into the compost corner. This is going to be the compost corner for our gardening area. It's going to be deep mulch right now. They're enjoying the green grass. Let me show you what they did over there in just two days on their garden area. You guys like this? Thank you for your work over on the garden. We appreciate it. This is the garden plot that the chickens did. We had to move them out because we don't want them to destroy the beds, but just enough to clear the bed. Look at this, look how well they have cleared that. Isn't that amazing? Now we, we chopped and dropped some for them, but they went to town shredding it. We need to cover this with tarp. Well, we need to put compost on it 
and then cover it with the tarp. Don't have time to do the compost, so we're gonna cover it with the tarp and then hopefully when I get back from my trip, we can uncover it, put some compost down, then cover it again. Josiah's inside saying, it looks like Phyllis is having a calf. Let's go see. Mom waved me off, she's not. She's not. No, mom waved me off, she hasn't had it. Good morning. Oh, she's calling me back up there. Is there a calf? No, there's no calf. Okay. I thought Flossie was there. Why? She <laughs> her head off funky. Okay. It looked like it was like tucked <laughs> underneath her. And I was like, oh my God, what just happened? Okay, and has Phyllis had her calf? No, she's still there. This one, Phyllis is due any day. I'm afraid she's gonna give birth before I leave, or after, while I'm gone. It's pretty, pretty swollen. I mean, it's pretty up. Nah. Let her rest. Let the old lady rest. Yep. See the pink eye? Where? On which one? That one. See it? Well, I think that's a little thing. Do you think that is? Do you think that is? Do you think that is? Yesterday when I was out here, it looked like the pig, the, one of the pigs had pink eye. The eye was just really red. I did uh, Google it. I, I did do an online search and pigs can get pink eye, but it can also be from something getting in their eye. But this morning, well, I talked to Justin about it and he was like, we'll treat them just in case because the things that we're going to do aren't going to hurt them. I also read though online that it is viral and it will just work its way through and it will remedy, remedy itself oh, okay. on its own. So we're, what we're doing is all immune boosting. Yeah, it's not going to hurt it's them. It's not going to hurt them. So they seem fine. They're eating. They're yeah, fine. they're, they're totally fine looking. Oh. Like I was not alarmed like, oh, they're sick. It was more like, do we need to deal with this? So we're gonna do milk to get them to be still and we're gonna spray it in their eyes. I have some colloidal silver that I'm gonna spray in their colloidal eyes. Silver. Okay, you ready? Okay. I probably don't have much Hold time. On a second. I know, that's what I'm saying. Here, you do that. Let me get it primed too. Okay. Here, let me get it. We're gonna go there to where it's open so they can get around this tree. Alright, just like come shoot it. Right here, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want them to eat me. Alright, give me the spray. They don't even have pink eye, do they? No, I don't think they do have pink eye. In the grain, we put some apple cider vinegar, we wetted it really well with water, and then I put a little bit of the XL7000 which we treat the cows, it's just an herb. It's just an herb tincture basically. And so figured, you know, it can't hurt. It's not gonna hurt them. So just in case they did have something, but I came out here and I'm like, I don't know what that was yesterday. Maybe they just had some dirt in their eye. I don't know, so. But they're cute little things. Well, not, I don't know about cute. Strong word. Cute's a strong word. Okay, and here, is the garden we are gonna weed. Looks pretty good. I, I weeded that whole row yesterday. So these three gotta get weeded. I think we're gonna, I ended up purchasing the Jang Cedar. So when that comes, I think we're gonna just tow this and then reseed carrots. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'll show you. Looking at my kale row, it looks like the cats dug up a lot of kale, which makes me sad. I don't know how to keep them out because they just go right through the premier fence. I guess if the premier fence was on, they wouldn't. Oh well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I'll talk to Justin about it. Maybe I'll just plant some kale seeds in that area. And Justin and I will come up with a plan when he comes back. Until then, we hope.
Well, we got the kale done, the kale row, which I'm pretty disappointed. A lot of the transplants that I did are gone for whatever reason. Um, I'm gonna guess cats, but so I'm, and then of course the carrots, and then surprise, surprise, when I seeded the lettuce, that didn't do good either, so. We're going to wait for the Jang to get here and then do it. We're gonna put together Hank though right now. It, it, it's pretty cool right here. Yeah, let's just do it right here. Just like that, it is finished. And I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah. Can I try it, Baba? You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Pick up the pen. There. I'll try All right, it. you try it. Now let's pick up the tools. Oh, look at that. Good job. Even you can help on the farm. First order of business with the gorilla cart is we're going to get the pumpkins out of the greenhouse and take them up to the porch. So I think they'll do better up there than in the greenhouse. I think it gets too hot in the greenhouse. Okay, I helped him push it up the hill. These are heavy suckers. I can't lift it without pressing those That's okay. I don't even know what that is. And here come the haulers. Woo -hoo! The haulers are here, which is awesome, and they are going to get milk in with Flossie. Phyllis has not had her baby, and hopefully she won't. I told Ben and Megan that I will not call them unless it is an absolute emergency. So, and my parents told me last night that they do have experience with pulling calves. So, if Phyllis has a baby and there's complications, we might not even need Ben and Megan. So now, we bring Hank back down to get more pumpkins. Yeah, you want to pull it? Yeah. Actually, Lily, you can you go down there and fill it up? I and mean, don't bring it back up because it's too heavy. But um, put all the pumpkins that you can in there, and then um, I'm gonna help Ben get the milking stuff. I just realized that I needed to do that because I think I need to wash the tumbler. All right, Ben, Meg, you guys have got this. We're gonna keep doing pumpkins. But you can't see it. Out of the greenhouse. Lily, are you gonna be my helper? Yeah. Thanks. So now I'm going to cook breakfast for the hollers and us.
The hollers just left. We ended up having a wonderful breakfast and just hanging out and the kids got to play, which that's what they really wanted to do. So they are headed out and I have no idea what we're gonna do today. Justin sent me a picture of him and Jonah eating lunch and they, it's, it's like 1.30 y'all. <laughs> we kind of hung out for a while. Hey, what? did you have fun? Yeah. Now that everybody is gone, the kids are outside playing, and I'm just gonna clean up my kitchen. If you're wondering what we're doing, we're watching vlogs. That's what we do. It's really hot outside today. It's really hot outside, so I am not making the kids go outside because it's like almost 90 degrees. Which I know people laugh that I think that's so hot, but it's hot. Okay, we're gonna get chicken out to make dinner. Before dinner, about 4.30, and we are gonna go check on the sea monsters, make sure their water is filled, and also check Phyllis, because we wanna make sure that, let's see if she's gonna have her baby. It is really hot, y'all. Well now it's look I feel like it doesn't look as imminent as it was once was. Yeah. So look at bears. Well now we're gonna go down to the sea monsters and check on them. It's been so hot. I'm sure they have enough water. I'm sure I'm sure they have enough water, but I just wanna do a Justin job. Make sure. Well, there was water in here. We're gonna get you some cool water, guys. They probably don't want to get any hot, cold, hot water. No, that water's hot. Wait for it to run cold. Well, I'm really glad that we came out. Check on them. It is a really hot day, close to 90 degrees. Their water was almost out. And as I was refilling it though, I was like, Lily commented that the hose was really hot, so I tested the water, it was so hot. So we dumped out all that water and let it run cool. Um, let the water run cool and then Gave it to him. Donald is now getting him some water. Nice, cool, well water. I 
You guys missing everybody? Dinner is over and I am about to go out and do kind of like the after dinner chores. I guess I could have done this before dinner, but I kind of forgot about it. So I am going to take this half gallon of clabbered milk and add it with 10 pounds of grain for the pig port pigs. And then that's all I have to do. It has definitely cooled down much nicer. Throw a couple of these in there. That will be for distracting the pigs while I feed them the grain. Boy, you guys look happy to see me. Now all I have to do is come back and put these chickens up tonight and collect eggs. And same with Icelandics. That's all I gotta do. I put the buckets back in the garage. Now I'm gonna go see if I can see anything with Phyllis. See if she's showing any more signs. How's that tree treating you? I mean, she's still eating, she's still hanging out with everybody. Our due date window for her is between August 9th and September 20th. And how we came up with those dates was we saw her November 1st, that's when we purchased her, and she was open. When she came here on December 13th or 14th, one of those days, she was bred. So, between those days she got bred and that is when those dates are and that's why those are our dates now with flossy we know when she got bred she did not come back into heat so it means that her pregnancy settled and her due date is december 23rd we had smoothies we talked to justin on facetime we watched some YouTube videos about treasure hunting. About treasure hunting. The hollers gave us some hot tips on those videos. And so now we are. Let's do the breakfast. Let's do the um, Icelandics first. Okay. We're going to do the Icelandics. I'm on a pony. Get some eggs. I'm on a horse. Shut them up. Kind of just view I'm on a cat. the Cornish crops. See how they're doing. And then shut off lights and do the breakfast posse and then it's time for bed. Did you hear that guys? Yeah. It's time for bed. Can we all sleep with you? They all want to sleep with me. We'll see. This chicken came out. No no. Come on, Jesse, help me. Come on. Go back in. Come on. Good, good chicken. Good chicken. What? You got four eggs. Why are they going crazy? All right, you want to walk out there with me to see the Cornish? No, okay. I just want to check on them, make sure everything is okay. Wow, they drank half of the water we gave them. They look much happier now that it's cooled down. I'm sure they're gonna enjoy the cool temps tonight. And I think it's supposed to be hot again tomorrow. 
but it's supposed to rain I think which will cool it down I think. All right guys. Guys, they drank half of that water. Isn't that crazy, Lily? We'll drink the other half tonight. We'll fill it up tomorrow. We'll fill it up tomorrow morning. I noticed as I was walking out of the barn that all the squash looked like it was on top of each other and looks like the bottom shelf or the top shelf gave way and all the squash fell onto the bottom shelf. So. That will be a project for us on Tuesday to deal with that. Here we are with the breakfast posse. Uh, this chickshaw it needs a really kickstand. No eggs in that one. I need help getting the birdie hens out. Okay. It's not even hers. She don't even lay those color eggs. Okay. She's catching them. Okay, we only got a dozen. 